Our next guest created waves in the gold market with her research on manipulation in the London gold fix. Some of her other research was also used as leading evidence during the LIBOR scandal proceedings. Today, she says she has more evidence of rigging in the precious metals markets, especially silver. Rosa Brantis Metz, thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, Daniela. So, Rosa, last time we spoke, you were first doing research on gold fix manipulation. You've now turned your attention to silver. What are some of your findings? Uh, I have looked into silver both at uh, the London silver fixing, as I did for gold, and the results were fairly similar. But I have also more recently started to look into uh, the CME future settlement uh, prices right. for, for silver. And I, I found several unusual uh, patterns. I find that prices move in opposite direction from the rest of the market returns very often, particularly while silver prices were moving upwards. Uh, I also find very drastic um, uh, increase in volume traded in the space of one minute, very often the largest of the day by far, and uh, very sharp price movements. So, Rosa, you're almost the biggest nightmare of these manipulators. I know last month, uh, Keith Newmeyer, he's the CEO of First Majestic Silver, wrote an open letter to the CFTC regarding unusual trading in silver contracts. Did you find that any of your research coincided with what he was saying? Well, I did not study as closely the positions, um, uh, but uh, large market concentration is typically a, a, a necessary condition to be able to manipulate markets. Um, and to the extent that um, he does believe that the silver futures um, may have been manipulated, I think that likelihood is high. But again, my focus was during the CME uh, settlement procedure. Right. Now, you mentioned the London gold fix. We've seen changes to both the gold and silver fix moving to an electronic platform. Has this helped stop supposed manipulation? It, I think several of the changes uh, improve um, the likelihood that less manipulation will will occur, um, namely the fact that there's higher transparency now on the trades that enter the fixing and the fact that the administrators themselves, who so both uh, gold and silver are independent, are not uh, the banks and the market participants themselves directly. Uh, but it's still concerning to me that there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of market participants, um, and so we want to see that expanded. And also, I do not see the need of continuing an auction setting. Um, I, I think that uh, expanding the time window in which prices are collected and just have them as an average or a median price of the day um, over a larger window of time actually makes it harder to maintain an artificial price. Rosa, what about the six banks that had to pay big fines earlier in the year over a currency rigging probe? Do you think this is the best way to fight crime? I think it is a critical way to fight crime. Uh, but I think uh, uh, moving forward, um, more needs to be done and by regulators and the institutions themselves in order to deter uh, this type of behavior in the future. Uh, obviously, large fines are important. They will deter somebody. Um, uh, in the specific case of benchmarks, they have to be restructured, and many of them are currently being restructured, others not yet. Uh, but more fundamentally, there needs to be a change in culture within these institutions. And if that change does not occur, then all we are going to accomplish is we deter a few people from doing these, but we don't deter them all. And on top of it, we even make it harder to detect these type of manipulations in the future because knowing there's higher surveillance right now, they will not leave trace as they did before in emails and instant messages. So more, uh, uh, more developed methods uh, of detection based on data called screens would have to be implemented in order to be able to detect this kind of behavior in the future. So when can we expect more news to come out of the gold and silver markets as in regards to manipulation happening? Um, I don't know when that may happen. Um, potentially, there could be investigations. Uh, we know the DOJ is investigating um, uh, the London fixing, but there could potentially be also investigations um, in futures. Uh, so these processes are usually um, very resource intensive and obviously authorities are very stretched in resources across many different right. markets. It may take a while. And finally, who do you think regulators might target next? Um, well, we all know the scandal of FX, but my, my belief is that uh, that is just part of the story. There's a lot of other practices that are concerning, including 
um, undisclosed markups, failure to deliver best practices, um, um, issues related to um, specific issues related to electronic trading as well. Um, but I think that, for example, treasuries, which we have learned recently, um, are also being investiga investigated for potential bid rigging in auctions, uh, are probably the last, the next big target because uh, alleged illegal behavior in treasuries may have been occurring under different settings, not just in auctions, but um, in spot market, markets and uh, in, in futures as well in different shapes and forms. So I think that could be the next big case. But of course, even just adding as well is right. the fix. There is a fix we have only learned uh, of Barclays uh, settlement. There may be others um, uh, coming forward um, and potentially admitting uh, to colluding on is a fix. Well, we'll see what happens next. Rosa, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.